today let's see the single inheritance and multiple inheritance now let's take up the syntax of the uh, single inheritance first how do you write the code for a single inheritance a single inheritance basically means there is one superclass one superclass and one subclass or we can say one base class and one derived class now supposing i have this here class super right now inside this i have my coding here right now i write class sub now when i write this class sub this is a sub class i want to inherit this uh from the super class right so class sub here i'll write public super like this so in this case <coughs> this super becomes the this is the super class here and this is the class this is the sub class it is inheriting from this super class now supposing inside this super class i write public int a int b right and here i have public in c in d right so that's a semicolon there <coughs> here i have in d under semicolon right now this means this class sub which is the uh, sub class or the derived class now it has got c and d that is its own members plus it also gets this a and b right so that means this uh, subclass has now got four members a comma b comma c and d so it can access the a and b also which is there in the superclass so this uh, is the way to write your syntax for inheritance the <coughs> derived class and then you put a colon and then you write the super class name now here we have written public super now i'll come to this public part later on there are actually uh, different ways of writing this i'll just show you that <coughs> i can write something like this class sub and just we can write super now in this case the derivation is private by default right so initially i had written like this class sub public super we can write class sub private super or we can write class sub protected super right these are called uh, the visibility modes i'll just come to that visibility mode uh, but before that i want to show you the syntax of writing the multiple inheritance now multiple inheritance means a subclass is inheriting from more than one superclass right so that means a sub class or a derived class will have more than one base class right so that is multiple base classes right so here 
uh, I can have class 1 this is one class here and then I write <coughs> class 2 fine this is the second class and here I write class 1 2 and now I am going to write public 1 comma public 2 now this is the derived class which is inheriting from both class 1 and class 2 right so again I, I have taken the visibility mode as public in both the cases so here we can have the private section <coughs> protected section as well as the public section here right same way for this also okay so this um, <coughs> class 1 2 that is the derived class this is going to have all the members of class 1 as well as class 2 here right both of them comes into this subclass okay now the next uh, concept that I would like to discuss is the protected access specifier we already know this public which is available to all private which is available <coughs> only within the class now the third one is called protected protected means it is available within the class and to the and to its subclasses right so if you make something as protected that means that data member or member function whatever it is it will be accessible within that class and also to all its subclasses right now I'll show you one uh, small example for this supposing I take something like this uh, class shape right here I have I write this private int r int d int l int b something like this right then I have this protected in protected I write <coughs> void in it there is a function which I write in which I am going to initialize the value something like this right and then I have the public in the public uh, section I have void calculate okay, I am not uh, defining that just declaring that method over there right now let's take class rectangle and here I say public shape so this rectangle is a derived class which is deriving from this which is inheriting from the class shape there and inside this again it can have its own private members and its own public members here right so uh, then here suppose I write void calculate area void calculate perimeter 
something like this right now this protected member which i have written here this void in it this will be available within this class rectangle so that means this uh, this protected and this public void calculate and void uh, in it both of them will be available over here so if i want i can call these functions inside this class rectangle they will be accessible over here right so i can uh, write a function supposing i have put here calculate area now uh, instead of this i can do something like this just uh, in this um, calculate perimeter let me just rewrite this okay inside this if i want i can write something like this in it fine this will call the init function of the uh, shape class which is the super class right same way i can also write calculate over here this will call the calculate function fine so that means these two protected and public section public section is available to all uh, within the whole program but this protected will be available within this class shape and it will be available to this sub class which is inheriting from this class okay so that's what protected means fine so we should be clear about these uh, access specifiers public private and protected protected comes um, into play only when uh, we are using the inheritance right when we are using the concept of inheritance then uh, the concept of protected should be clear fine now one more thing which you should all uh, remember is the um, the derived class inherits all the members of a base class but however the derived class has access only to the public and protected members of the base class so that means uh, when you have a base class and a derived class all the members of the base class that is including the private members so in this case i'll just show you this in this case this r d l b in it calculate everything goes into the rectangle class but the rectangle class will not be able to access these uh, private members right these private members they go into this class but this class will not be able to access them so this goes here right but they can't be accessed can't be accessed in subclass right though all the private members also all the private members go to the derived class but they can't be accessed only the protected and the public members can be accessed so this is something which is very important you get questions as to what uh, data members and what member functions are available in a uh, derived class and they'll give you one base class one derived class so you have to tell uh, what all data members will be accessible through a object of the uh, derived class or inside the derived class something like that so in such questions this is very important this this concept so you have to make uh, you have to keep in mind that the private members also go to the derived class so you have to um 
you have to remember that they uh, though they go into the derived class but they cannot be accessed that is the difference right so with that i'll come to the end of today's session uh, in my next session on inheritance i'll be taking up the visibility mode bye